Good moon day morning, watery ones. And when the Avalon, water witch and water priestess here. Uh, just doing a really quick check-in this morning. It is a fabulous moon day. Um, and I'm really happy to be starting the week. Um, my son has his last day of school tomorrow, so that's exciting. We officially start summer um, Wednesday morning here at Rosethorn Farm. So Rosethorn Farm or Rosethorn Homestead, depending on the mood that I'm in, is the name that we gave to our small um, homestead slash farm that we have out here, um, which includes the creek, many birds. Um, we have turkey, three ducks, a peacock, a peahen, and a lady turkey. Um, which is also called a hen. And then we have roughly about 40 chickens, two roosters. Um, so we eat a lot of eggs around here. <laughs> I also sell eggs. If anybody's local, you're welcome to let me know. Um, they're free range eggs. So um, our birds have a wonderful aviary and home that they get to run around in where they're nice and safe from coyotes. But enough about all that. This past weekend uh, was my partner's birthday, and so I spent the entire weekend really focused on making food. I made enchiladas, and I made um, cupcakes, and all sorts of delicious things. Um, and uh, then, if you head over to Instagram, you can see a little peek into our life. Um, we may be getting a kitty cat visitor here. I hear the door opening. Um, but yeah, you can get a little peek into my life and uh, my past weekend. Um, over on Instagram, we dug a new fire pit. Um, this one more for like cooking versus like the big burn pit that we have. Um, if you are in the city and you're unfamiliar with burn pits, out in the country we don't have, um, we have a lot of things that we can burn. Bush, uh, brush and um, some trash like burnable trash, paper, cardboard, um, trees that die, um, grass, blackberries, like all sorts of stuff. So we usually get a really big pile um, of burnables and uh, we burn them um, once or twice a year. But it's a big drum like a big big drum. It actually was uh, part of the house when, when we purchased it. And uh, I just don't love it. Like it's great for burning blackberries, but it's just not great for sitting around the campfire. So we took some of our extra brick across the creek in a nice shaded area. Um, and we built a little fire pit and we cooked chicken stew last night, which was delicious. So like I said, over on Instagram, you can see some of those photos um, and the video of the cauldron bubbling. Um, <laughs> And um, I made a wonderful cocktail of watermelon and vodka and orange and lime juice. It was delicious. So we had a really, really great weekend. Um, not a heck of a lot of water magic, a lot of birthday magic to be had. Um, I will be doing uh, my healing rite later today if you follow me over on Instagram. Um, I uh, collected the names of those that needed um, healing work done and that will be done today. Uh, last week I said it would be done later in the week but uh, my partner decided last minute, surprise, to take Friday off so I had to postpone all of my Friday things to Monday which is today. So um, I skipped the uh, Moonday morning last week. I just was too busy of the week, but um, I wanted to stop by today and just make a quick little video and remind everybody of what's coming up. I have um, one blog, blog, blob. <laughs> I have one blog that is going to drop today, um, or to, probably tomorrow, today or tomorrow. It's going to drop today or tomorrow. And I may have another one later this week. Uh, it may end up getting pushed to the following week. I do have several videos for you guys this week as well. Um, I may choose to just drop one, but the three that are coming up are um, how to give offerings to the water and water spirits, how to work with and contact water spirits, and the first modern water priestess. So I'm not going to tell you about that because that one's a, a good one. Um, that'll be coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks and then I'll be recording some as well. 
If you have any specific topics that you would love for me to talk about or teach about, feel free to put them in the comments below or send me a direct message either here on YouTube or on Instagram and uh, let me know if you would be interested um, in a specific topic. I love to talk about things. Um, sometimes I don't know what to talk about because I have a lot of uh, knowledge in my head and it's like, oh, everybody knows that. But, you know, I'm happy to talk about things and... Uh, anything to do with water magic or witchcraft or priestessing or um, nature, plants, herbs, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm always happy for that. If uh, you're interested, like I said, just uh, leave some comments below. Um, also, if you are interested in having a free oracle reading done for you this week, make sure that you join me over on Instagram at Anne Avalon, Wednesdays at 11 a.m. for the Water Wednesday live stream. So, yeah, it's going to be great. We've had a lot of fun with those. I pull a card of the day. We talk about different topics. Um, I can chat with you um, right there in the live stream. So if you wanted to ask questions on the live stream rather than on video, then that would be great too. Um, and then we finish off with live readings um, for anybody that may be interested. And uh, we usually focus on messages from the water spirits, but it's open. Sometimes other things come in as well. So I'd love for you to join me um, if you can. <sighs> things that are coming up in June that are also really important. Thankfully, June for me is a little bit of a quiet month. However, if you are in the Pacific Northwest or in the Portland area, I'll be teaching a water class, a water magic class, water witchcraft class, followed by a water healing ritual with the goddess Sulis, and we will be using water from her sacred temple in Bath in the right and so if you happen to be local, check out the Raven's Wing in Selwood, which is a section of Portland, and I'll be there um, mid-June uh, for the summer solstice ritual. Um, it's not actually on the solstice, it's the Sunday after the solstice. I believe that that's the 23rd, 22nd or 23rd, um, uh, over at Raven's Wing. So I'm really excited to be uh, teaching there. And um, July becomes really busy. So if you happen to be on the East Coast and you would like some water magic, be sure to check back and keep an eye on my calendar for July because I will be in North Carolina in three different locations, teaching at three different shops, as well as Atlanta at Mystic South. And I'll be teaching about water magic and water witchcraft. Uh, actually, it's the Cult of the Sacred Springs in uh, Georgia. So. Lots of sea magic and water magic in North Carolina, and then it will be Sacred Wells down in Georgia. And then I'll be headed back here to um, the Pacific Northwest to prepare for Jambala, which is a very big belly dance uh, festival event. Um, and I'll be in two pieces. I'll be performing Shatterspell with Valoria, where I am a wonderful dryad tree with very cool props. And then I will also be performing uh, with Sedona Soulfire again. I was invited to be part of her student performance once again, and I really enjoy uh, dancing with her, and I really enjoy um, the community that she builds, and so I jumped on it again. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it because I thought that it might be uh, conflicting with some of my Valoria performances, um, but it is not, or practices, I should say, but they don't conflict at all, so I was able to do both and I'm really excited. Last year um, with Sedona, we did the Solo Luminescence, um, which was um, the light that dances upon the water. And this year we are embodying the different elements. Um, and so I'm really excited to see how the whole piece turns out. If you happen to be in Portland for that, that is the first week in August. Um, I'm sure that there'll be video and, and photos and all that good stuff released as well. I'm not doing a solo this year. Um, and that has everything to do with the fact that I just didn't sign up for one. Um, by the time I got around to signing up for it, the word on the street was that, uh, the performance slots were closed and everything was on wait list. So... Unfortunately, no solo there, but um, I do have a couple solos that I plan on working on for this fall as well. So, 
I think that that's all that's going on right now, at least this week. But definitely watch the blog over on Pavios because there will be stuff dropped today and or tomorrow there, as well as videos on this channel. And I'm at 10 minutes and I wanted this to be just a really quick hello, good Monday morning to you um, video. And so I'm going to go ahead and head out and start my day, get this uploaded, as well as start all of my admin. So I hope that you have a wonderful um, moon day, and I hope that you have a wonderfully watery week. And may the water spirits bless all that you do. See you next time.